Jamie does culture. <laughs> In today's episode, we're going to be exploring these lovely steels sculptures here on the University of Hull campus. Let's go, Dave. The trail is actually an installation called Cairns by Icelandic artist Steinon Thorarinsdottir, and these sculptures are all around the university campus. The exhibition opened on the 28th of April, and these sculptures are made of cast iron and steel. Some of them are up to two and a half metres high, and they celebrate the ties between Hull and Iceland. What? What, what, is, what is this, Jamie? Well, Dave, funny you should ask that. Person A here, let's call her Karen, shall we? And person B, what should we call her? Susie? I think Karen is madly in love with Susie. But Susie has just looked up and realised a bird is about to poo on her. And so she's not really listening to Karen, but Karen's like, No, Susie, I only want to be with you. But all Susie cares about is the bird poo. These sculptures mark a link between Hull and Iceland. Thousands of years of trade and history between the two countries took a bit of the knock during the 1950s, 60s and 70s with the outbreak of the Cod Wars, something I will talk about more later. Blinked. Well, I've been a really good boy this year, so I think I can get a new, a new mountain bike. What do you think? What about an Xbox? And and I really want a, a new pair of rollerblades, please. Thanks, Santa. <laughs> the Cod Wars were a series of disputes as previously mentioned, between the 50s and the 70s over the rights to fish in Icelandic waters. Although there was never really any conventional war fighting, the height of the wars saw 37 Royal Navy warships mobilised to protect British trawlers fishing in disputed territory. These days, however, there are happier times between Hull and Iceland, marked by Cairns. You've been here long, mate. Jamie, by the way. Yeah, don't mind him, sorry, I'm just, just filming a little TV programme actually, for Channel 4, yeah? Jamie does culture, that's what it's called, looking at um, cultural artwork. Sorry, are we, am I alright to... Cool, yeah. A bit cold, aren't you? Sorry, what was your name? Great. Tonight the super trooper lights are gonna find you shining like they do But I won't feel blue Cause somewhere in the crowd there's you Hi there! What's going on in this one? Well Dave, as you can see we've got our two friends again, Karen and Susan. Now in this one I feel like it's a continuation of the last image we saw. Karen's now really angry at Susan. She's like, no, I gave you my love and you just turned away and just looked at the bird poo. Susan, Susan is also a bit angry with her, but still angled upwards. She's still fearful of those seagulls. I don't blame you, Susan. They're lethal. On to the next one. Well, here we are on a more aerial sculpture. Do you know, I really like the detailing that's gone along with the, the feet here. I think it really, really brings out some realism in the artwork. Uh, I'm not sure what this one means. I think maybe it's a, it's, a, it's a representation of lost love and someone climbing out of the window away from their lover because they're scared that the parents might find out. Something like that, don't you think, Dave? <laughs> Dave? Oh, lamentable sorrow. Look how the tables have turned. Here we are with our two, our two friends again, Karen and Susan, but this time the roles have been reversed. Karen, the one who was giving her love at first, is now so angry at Susan, she's pulling away from the kids. And here we've got a really 
tragic image, I think you can agree. And it's, it's such a sad note to finish the trail on, but here we are, city of culture, breaking hearts. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Jamie Does Culture. With me, Jamie, and cameraman Dave. Thanks, producer Dave. Great as always. Now, make sure you tune in next time for some more cultural banter with your two favourite guys. Keep subscribing and keep liking the videos. Thanks, guys. <laughs>